With me eating too? You guys are live. Okay, what's up, you guys? What's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all. To the world. Okay. So my name is Brandon Carson. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Brandon Carson Jordan. Um, next to me, I have a beautiful young lady. Hi, I'm Cynthia. <laughs> I don't know if you want to know my last name is Freelingheisen. <laughs> what? But freely? Wait, wait. You gotta let the people know. Freely. What? Is that, is, that Ger- is that German? <laughs> it is German, yes. Okay. My grandfather was from Brazil, but Ooh. he was German, so. That's okay, that's where absolutely My beautiful. name came from. <laughs> that explains a lot. That explains a whole lot. You have a lot of fire from Brazil, and. <laughs> it's just really beautiful, yeah. I, I got a lot really of fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> and who, she's amazing. And who is this um, young gentleman? To the end. Right here, yeah. Uh, my name is Corey Holland. You guys can't find me on Instagram right now, but okay. when I bring it back, it's the Golden One Twenty Four. Um, and yeah. Uh, on is it South play- America represent? Oh, <laughs> come on now. Somebody I'm really said- Central American because I'm Honduran. My father's ah, Honduran. So. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody like said, "Hey, Corey." Hey. <laughs> so hey, y'all. Hey. Oh, Okay, so we actually wanted to kind of just open up the conversation, um, just having a conversation about a lot of different types of relationships, really. Um, There's this stigma right now, um, more so in reality TV, right? Um, A lot of people, you know, watch shows like, you know, Love and Hip Hop Mm -hmm. and The Real Housewives of Atlanta and a lot of different franchises that, you know, experience and cultivate these different relationships that you know either progress during the tenure of the show or they you know break up Mm -hmm. so a lot of times you definitely see the buildup of a breakup of a relationship Mm -hmm. on reality tvs Mm -hmm. right uh right reality tv shows Mm -hmm. so i want to ask the question what do you guys think about that stigma like do you think that it is true um and you know in fact and then how do you actually feel about it Given if you were in that situation. I mean, I feel like for me, I like to keep people that I love, especially like men, to to me. Like I, okay. I, I, I've never broadcasted a relationship, even like, and I've you know been truly, truly in love with someone, and I would never post a picture of them. Not right. that I was hiding them or we were hiding each other. It was just like I felt like that was someone that was sacred to me, mm-hmm. and I didn't want the world. You know how Jake says I was hiding the world from my. Kids. Oh, Whatever he says, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm not hiding you, but I feel like certain aspects of my life, I don't necessarily need to, to share, share yeah. sacred aspects of my life. I don't need to share them. The people closest to me are the ones that I will share them with, and that's just the way that I, I am. I completely understand that. But well, let me ask y'all a question. I'm going I'm yeah. I'm to be, be debating with you guys today. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm in a very debated mood. So do you think that if you, isn't it nice though, if you have been with somebody for a long time Mm -hmm. and you post all your other moments when you're going out with your friends and your family and things of that nature, Mm -hmm. I understand what you say about the privacy in a relationship, but don't you think it's nice like to sometimes, you know, drop a little something Mm -hmm. of them? Yeah. Yeah. Just to let the people know. I I feel like there's but so much you should give people. Right. Right. I don't feel like you should let them into your personal life. I feel like broadcasting your whole relationship from point A to point Z is just it becomes a lot and then that act also plays a factor in a lot of relationships okay. um people get involved mm-hmm. like the media get involved right. like social media like right. you know and it all plays a part in whether we stay together or break up and it just it just becomes a lot now I'm not saying keep them all to yourself no but I mean of course post your happy moments and yeah eat, like you know your pictures and stuff like that but as far as just like airing your whole relationship out on out in the world I feel like it's just too much I, I think that sometimes it can actually work out and benefit for both parties because if you think about it okay so I'll dial back to reality TV and then I'll break into what we just brought up about mm. social media I think that with reality television, you get into different formats of that person and how they feel about certain things when it comes to another person. Like, Mm -hmm. if you come on to a show with somebody else, it's a different type of business conversation going on. So you kind of just like, okay, this is where we're coming with this. Mm -hmm. This is how we're going at this situation. This is what's going to be our storyline, period. I mean, it's a business. It's entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, people definitely need to tune in in order for for the show to continue and in order for you to get, you know, have a job and a check so (laughs) if you are getting that with somebody else i think that that's really really dope however sometimes 
the cameras and a lot of the fluff can get in the middle of what you guys have. Mm -hmm. Because somebody might be actually more popular than the other person within the relationship and somebody can get jealous mm -hmm. or some other things can kind of happen within scenarios within the show, how they can intermix certain things and then some people can actually really like that. And I, if you put a person in a situation and force them to be into it and produce it on a camera, I, I really do feel like you can actually gain relationships with that person be it friendship or more than that. And then I feel like, you know, it, it just naturally happens that way. So do you think reality television is healthy? I mean, I don't think so. Um, me personally, I really don't watch it. Like, I, I'm familiar with it, but I don't watch it. Like, I, you, I cannot tell you the last five episodes of any reality TV show because I just feel like, one, it just paints a bad perception of the community and the the culture because you, you don't mean you say all culture period culture period not not just not just african americans you know caucasians it, hispanic it, there's all different types of reality tv at this point i feel like it it doesn't really highlight the good it more so highlights the drama the badness and i feel like that's sad because that's what america likes that's what you know people want to see which i think is it's kind of sad that's what that's my personal opinion why i don't really watch it and uh, honestly like i knew someone that was on a reality tv show and my friend would tell me like that the producers will put them in certain situations mm -hmm. yeah. to make things appear what they weren't, you know what I mean? Or they'll, this person will have a girlfriend and then we mess up with another chick on the show and it'll all be fake. But at the end of the day, in real life, you're, exactly. or someone could be single right. on the show and in real life, they got a whole girlfriend at home and it looks like they're a bachelor on TV and they're going home to a chick and you're embarrassing that woman on TV. It's just yeah. like, it's a lot that goes into it that I don't necessarily agree with. I don't know if that's something that I would do, but it does help people sometimes and it catapults their careers and it does like quite benefit people. people. Most definitely. I don't think that that was, I don't think that, I don't think that was a factor that was def her, Definitely her boost her career was Instagram. I think and it was just being funny. funny. I mean, but that, I think that, Love that, and Hip Hop was the next her. step. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was, it was, it, it, that, it, you know. That's what we said, where it helped people. Because it, it helps you get to, to it kind of gets you to yeah. a point, but it only, it's only how you play it the cards. It accelerated. Though. Yeah, but you know, it's how you play your cards. Started. It also starts with the person yeah. and how they play their cards. Because this is true, yeah. There's some people that's been on reality TV and and still don't have Don't have shit. Just that. Joseph Davis said, your relationship is your business, but if you choose to put your relationship on a public forum, or social media, mm -hmm. then you have to take everything that yep. comes with exactly. it. Most definitely. Exactly. Because you actively decide to, you know, put that, up put that out there. For people opinions, for people to say what they want to say. publicize your, your relationship. Say, you know, I mean, it's out there now. You can't be mad at that. Yeah. Or you have a lot of, um, getting a lot of messages. Uh, yeah. Guys, left is gorgeous. Thank um, you. I mean, my whole cast is like... Trying to pay attention to the discussion, but you are distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> my whole cast is <laughs> just all just lit. Yes, yeah. Corey. So let me ask it you a question. In the, in the age of going viral, okay, Jesus Christ, <laughs> is it worth it just to go viral? Yes, it's worth why, it because the it, is to a certain extent. Times. I feel like yeah. it depends on what you do. It, it's subjective. I feel like it depends on what you do. Like right. if it's good content or if it's something, then yes. But I feel like if you're doing something stupid, yeah. like harming yourself or just like trying to do something stupid to go, so viral, doing the bird box yeah. challenge. That's dumb, true. just stupid. Yeah, just stupid. True. Really? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, have you seen the movie Bird? Somebody Bird? actually. Yeah, uh, so people have been doing the challenge and yeah, and <laughs> trying to do daily activities <laughs> <laughs> like drive and like. Oh, I, oh, oh shit! Shit. I gotta look at it. Like when they were doing the Shiggy challenge over the uh, summer. Like, you know, yeah. that was yeah. dope. Yeah. That was dope, though. That the challenge dope. was good. But people actually doing the thing with getting the car. And yeah, like like that's dangerous. Nah, it's not cool. Like. So what next? You gonna kill yourself too? If you look, I mean, people have work? done it, honestly. <laughs> Our lives. That is crazy. So what are some things you would not do just for that five, fifteen seconds of fame on in a, in a public forum in social media? What what won't you do? I ain't me, sucking no dick on TV. I'm about to say me. I'm not doing. There's no sex tape for <laughs> me. I can't that. do. Like no. that's just. I feel like that's just. Now I've good. done sex scenes and shows. Right, this, but this, that's this has definitely being a fact. Yeah. We have all known. It's a part of your your. It's your career. Art. You know, right. it's the art. However, comma, there are some things that are just not going to be on social media. It's just yeah. not going to happen. You're not going to have me busting it open on social media. I'm not going to harm not, myself. I'm not stealing no. something. I'm not like. Guy Michael said, "I really love that man in the right. You're his hero." Oh, 
Oh, oh thank you. I appreciate that. Well, we're your cake. Uh, we gotta find. Ah, uh, you know, I got some in my cake. Okay, okay. We have a yeah. 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 woman here and two males. So, question: Rimming, um, eating, eating butt. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. We just went right. There. We're, gonna, we're gonna be everywhere today. Got it. Okay. Eating butt. The fa- the what are your views on it? What are the requirements to do it? And do you do it? Do you like it? What don't you like about it? What do you like? I about mean, it? I feel like it's your preference. It's, it's your okay. preference. It's, yeah. it's, I can't tell you. I mean, if I like it, I can't make you like it. So right. it's, I mean, it's your preference. Like, you know, that's pretty much. It. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I I'm actually open to it. You know what I'm saying? You know, receive. You here for it? I, um, I am too. Take, you know, it's just like it's it's it is what it is. I just feel like it's a part of human nature, sex, and nature, yeah. and everyone gets really explorative mm-hmm. and they just start touching and licking and doing stuff. So as a woman, would you eat ass? No. Would you? Never have. I know some women that do though. I know a few And I know women that, that some women that like it too. Yeah. I don't I, mind it, but enjoy. I don't I wouldn't do it. So you wouldn't do it but you do you I don't like mind it? it? Do you like okay. I <laughs> so if a guy so if a guy say like listen he did, like you're in the bed and Sorry, like babe, no, he, he gets out the shower care. and he comes and sits on your face, what would you do? No, we're gonna have a problem. But he just comes and sits on her face. Not to like, sit the <laughs> like just don't, a, don't say okay, nothing. like when a, you know when but a guy all, wants get, to get oral yeah, sex, but like I had the guy come like my ex one guy come yeah. over me and be like, you know, put the thing in my mouth, <laughs> you're but right. you're not putting your ass in my mouth. It's okay. not happening. <laughs> not the first thing. But, That's but the, yeah. for you a straight guy to just come and sit on a woman's <laughs> face is just disrespectful. No. That's pretty rude. Like, but how would you, what if he's just being freaky? Like, he'd be like, oh, eat my ass. But, I mean, no, he, 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 but for the moment, like, it's cute, I mean, but it's like, I mean, I see where she comes from <laughs> yeah, with it, but I know women who do, and they explain it to me, and I completely understand it because... <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, I, I think that it's pretty dope. I think that it's cool on both sides. I understand both sides. I'm sorry. I got to ride the fence for this, it, you know. This banana pudding is so good. So what do you feel like? I'm anal play should be my kid. Like anal play? Like like if your dude is like, yo, like while y'all are um, doing like penetrative sex. Like doing me in the butt? No, he's so oh. He asked you to put your, his, your finger in his butt. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, you know, that should be okay, right? <laughs> the prostate is there, and I know that prostate makes guys come. Boom! Oh, there you go. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't but some women are instantly turned off to hear something like that. They don't. They don't like that at all. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, because some women I mean, just like a masculine guy. I like a masculine guy. I don't think that a, I've never had you know someone say something like that to me, but I I would think I would understand mm-hmm. because I know that the prostate is there and that's like a G spot for a man and that the, right. that's necessarily mean that he's gay because mm-hmm. I don't, you know. <laughs> so masculinity <laughs> coming in, you said way. masculine, okay? What do you consider masculine? Each of you, I want you to tell me what do y'all consider masculine mm-hmm. and is that a preference or do you, yeah, what are your preferences and what do you view as masculine? I don't feel, I um, mean, Personally, I don't feel like there's a specific type of masculine, masculinity, period. Like, I feel like every man has their own individual, like, masculinity to them. Um, like a level of masculinity. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean. But in your definition, what do you, like, if you could, what do you see as masculine? Like, how do you, um, what do you describe it as? Because I'm trying to find out, too. Any so like, you love to eat your banana pudding. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make banana pudding, but my brother, shout out to him. Okay, the tasting experience. Yeah, shout um, out to him. He's amazing, amazing, amazing He pastry makes chef. the best fucking, oh, my God. Yeah, His so. whole pastry list. And he cooks, too. So, definitely shout outs to him. Follow him on Instagram. Um, and, yeah, put some orders in. Okay, I got to get that. So, masculinity. So, um, so, so. <sighs> Somebody else go. I, I, I gotta think about my life. Okay, Cynthia. Um, I mean, my you dad, like masculinity. I like masculinity, but I I don't mind a guy who would cry. I don't want the nigga crying all day you know, about everything. <laughs> he can touch with his emotions. You know, I you know, vulnerable. I mean, I like okay. So I, I'm gonna say my dream man, if he uh-huh. wasn't married, would be like a like a Jay Z type or okay. like Swiss B. So so like my so I feel like men like that are. Masculine. Men that I'm attracted to, like in terms of their masculinity, you know what I mean. Like it's more so me. I'm attracted to 
a certain type of intellect like uh how do i say like a street smart but then you also more refined street smart so i feel like so a former drug dealer okay yeah. no i don't really want a drug dealer <laughs> yeah, i don't we mind just went right it. there yeah i mean you know as long as you clean the money up <laughs> someone said my idea of masculinity is, uh, is unfortunately formed from the corner dude not no, not me. But the, that form of masculinity is like the corner dudes, mm. like people that sit at gas stations and on the corner. No, like niggas that sell drugs. They don't say. Oh, oh I feel like. Are... I feel like. Um, I feel like when, it, when I mean that's a certain type of masculinity. With yeah. masculinity, though, I think it's more so of a swagger. Mm. Yeah. Like it's kind of so, a it's, it's like an uh, attitude, like kind of like a vibe, if you yeah, will. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like a, a more relaxed, real chill, kind of just like. Real deep, you know, real just different. You know, it's just very much so. Um, I'm masculine, but my ain't that like what a guy would be stereotypically very um rough and rugged, super duper um straightforward and not very emotional, kind of yeah. closed off to certain conversations and very open to sex and sports. Like you know, just very different mm -hmm. things, making it visual for men because men are visual creatures. You know, because they don't necessarily. Uh, it's not necessary a thing to teach a guy to feel <laughs> you know but you know it is what it is okay do you think a couple's finances should be together or separate um a couple it depends on how we got them did it we get them together yeah or i was about to say it depends it, so that, that mine, depends it depends yours. on how long y'all been together it depends <laughs> on how invested you guys are into each other to put your money together it, it a lot of factors play um i feel like if you're married definitely i feel like your mm -hmm. coin should definitely be together if you're married um but as far as just like in a relationship mm, i don't know about that yeah now if you guys decide to go into a venture together and then you know those coins of course are joint coins but other than that mm, i get that i don't think about that yeah i agree i'm not putting my coins with your coins and you're not it, it, it's just like i was still like my money is your money but i don't feel like it's that important to put it together if we're not at a certain state. You know. And that could also would if we the get relationship. A joint account, yeah. You know? But yeah. and I can have mine, you can have yours. But we right, but we, we both put putting it, it in you together. Know, yeah. as, you know, as we yeah. come. Like um, both, what about when you uh, Okay, say it's for instance, if the relationship were to end mm -hmm. that's why I said how do you split the finances? <laughs> One person could just take all the money out the account and dip. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't do that with anybody. I wouldn't do that with anybody who I would even have an inkling. Yeah. of a feeling. I mean, sometimes. some people do change. I do agree with that. And sometimes you don't know. Mm -hmm. But there will be situations where it's kind of just like... That's why I say uh, married. Because I'm not just... If we just... No, if we married, that means we're going to have to go through legal documents. But even at marriage, like... I, it, yeah. I would honestly just be very watchful of that account. Mm -hmm. You oh, know, kind of just like very just on top of it simply because another person is a part of it. Oh, he got a... Oh, he done bought something? Okay, okay. Right. I ain't seen that. And this account? Where does Mercedes come from? Okay. Like, you know, like, uh-uh. What what, what's going on? He took so, a trip? Yeah. Of, it looked like, like two, like two people it. took a trip. Um, Diamond Shine said, y'all married, then yeah, should be together. Diamond, uh, separate, only if they're married. Um, if you boyfriend and girlfriend, hell no. Yeah. Right. Nah, my money is my money. My husband's money is our money. Uh, <laughs> That's how I feel okay. kind of. <laughs> okay. Depends on the relationship and how they vibe. Okay. I would have a I would have a long term relationship before I'm willing to share an account. Yeah. Uh Joseph Davis also said the boy with the glasses is marriage material. Oh, oh man. I appreciate that. So okay guys. I too. How soon I is too too. soon? <laughs> if you guys are dating, how soon is too soon to move in together? I don't know. It depends on the love. Like, I, feel I feel like, like you know, sometimes even I feel with like the situation and the person. I mean, some, and sometimes you can move too fast. But even still, I feel like it's it, it's all a part of a learning process. Yeah. And, I mean, some, some things are meant to happen. Sense. Some things are meant to yeah. happen. And I mean, it it depends on you and how you feel. I just think you just know. Sometimes I've done know. that before, so I, I that's how I'm speaking from it. experience. What's, okay, yeah. so each of y'all, what's the soonest? Like how? What's the soonest? Y'all moved in with someone. Oh, for me, God. it was five months. It was a month. No, I was <laughs> oh, really yeah, young. a month? Yeah, a month. Okay. And how long did it last? Y'all cohabitated? Like a year. Oh, that's uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we, we did pretty good. Yeah. We almost wanted to kill each other, but mm. we did pretty good. No, yeah. I had a boyfriend that with me when I was 19 in my mama's crib, and <laughs> that was a disaster. But he lived with us for a few months. 
Yeah, it w- wasn't a good idea. I was a mm. little ass girl. <laughs> Shouldn't have had him there, but. Well, at least you had no kids and stuff out of it. No. That's good. <sighs> Thank That's God. good. Okay. How important is physical chemistry to you guys in dating in a relationship? With him? How important is that? On a scale of one to ten, it's a ten. I gotta be involved. <laughs> I need it all there. Yeah. All of it. So what's all of it? All of it. I need All of what I want. I mean, yeah. Physically. Okay, so tell me. I'm not saying physically. No, but it's just physical chemistry. Okay, well, meaning how handsome someone is. How important physical chemistry, like attraction. I feel like I can grow to be attracted to someone that I love. So it's not that important to you? No. Absolutely not. Looks are not important to me. That's for sure. Oh yeah. As far as like looks, looks can get you somewhere, but it ain't yeah. gonna get you yeah. far. Yeah. You know, it'll, it'll get you in the door. But, but even it's not even gone. still, like even if you don't have the best of looks, I feel like yeah. physical chemistry can still be there. As far as yeah. you know, of course, interactions and t- like me, I'm a touchy feely person. Pheromones and pheromones. I'm a touchy feely person in a relationship, so I like to hold hands. I mean, maybe not walk and swing hands the whole That's time. That's my next question. But I like to do that. Um, I like to kiss in public. I mean, not slop each other down, but a peck every now and then, a hug. Like I. I like stuff like that. I like that in my relationship. What's so, your sign? A Libra. Libra? Mm. Yeah. Okay. We get along. I'm Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah. Oh, my best yeah. friend's a Scorpio. Yeah. I'm I'm a how cancer. important is affection? Amazing. Very important. Yes. Okay. Very I'm a important. smotherer. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. don't have affection to the person that you're in a relationship, why? Yeah. I, I just feel like, why? what's the I need point? You all yeah. on me at all why? time. I just want to feel it all. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me everything, verbally, <laughs> physically. Everything. Give me everything. I feel like affection is huge. That's the reason why we have this type right. of relationship. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's, I'm not going to do this with my regular friends. Yeah. So what if you are dealing with someone and they're just not as affectionate as you? Bye. I'm, like, like for, well, I'll, I, I, was, I will... A conversation to be Yeah, had, yeah. I would say, you know, I, I like affection. I like, you know, for you to be on me just as much as I'm on you. Da, 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 and give it time because nothing happens overnight. I will give it time. But if eventually you just... Uh, bye. I don't know. I just, I, I can't deal with someone who's not affectionate. Like, I like, you know, touching and kissing. And I don't, I don't want to have to always initiate that. So mm-hmm. I just like people that are... Affectionate and with me, and you know, like holding, yeah. even if it's like holding, touching my hand, kissing my hand, you know, kissing me on the cheek, hugging, like you know, your hand on your yeah, thigh, like, like yeah, yourself. all that, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I know, love I'm that not. shit. <laughs> Touch me, daddy. <laughs> so, to each of you, what is your personal love language? What, mm. what is the main way you show your love? Mm. I'm like a. I think I'm, affection. I, I'm affectionate. I'm affectionate too. I'm. I'm affectionate. Me is But I like giving like, gifts too. Yeah, I'm That's a gift. Love. I love to cook for my like. Yes. I'm I'm an all around. I clean. Yeah, like I cook. Yeah. I, that, like that's just me. That's, that's it, right yeah. Here. No, for real, seriously. Take it like I'm take out the clean, trash. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I cook stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. Okay, so guys, this is a question: If you guys are dealing with someone and you're in love and you're in a relationship and they start to gain weight, okay. And what do you do? We're like, gonna work out together. With that? Oh. I'm gonna be like, oh baby, okay. So what we gonna do? We gonna what? You, you just come to the gym with me like a couple of times a week, right? Mm-hmm. Don't don't do it too much. You know what I'm saying? Don't throw it on them. Right. Just be like, you know what, babe? Just come to the gym with me like three times a week. It's fine. Like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, you, you just let's just do that. And then you kind of just like, oh babe, let's go to the gym today. And it's a Tuesday, right? So you got four days. Like, oh babe, it's Wednesday. You know, well, you also, gotta I mean, you dedicated to that. It could also not even be. I mean, you, I, me, or I, even, I, would, you know, I would sneak it in. I would sneak it in okay. and change the diet. First. Got it, got it, got it. I would got change it, it. just to sneak it in. I feel like that's a little shady, though. It, but it's, it's just well, like, I think my, my, my situation was kind of shady. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, I mean, that. I would be like, we need to go to the gym. But it, it definitely would be the eating habit. It's like, you know what, we should go to the gym. I don't see, I gained weight when I was with somebody, mm-hmm. and he kind of had an issue with it. What kind of? So he just well, left you? Or no, did no, he no, 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 no. He was like, you know, he was like, um. <laughs> you know, he, hey, when it starts off with, you know, we know. The nigga bullshit. was like, oh, basically, like, what, like, what are you going to do? Keep getting bigger? Like, oh. But also you have to think about somebody <laughs> he said, like, he's like, she I wanted you to gain weight. He was skinny. He it's was like, like, I met you, you were skinny, and I loved you like that. Like, you know, mm-hmm. that's what I was, and he Did it hurt? No, because I know that he meant, he was like, you know, I'm worried about your health. I'm worried about. Well, well he, that's what he I mean, said. But you ain't get obese because clearly. I don't know, but. You're fine as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, you know, but I, like I said, because it, it all depends on. You also have to take in, yeah. like, what the person wants to be. Like, she wanted, she wasn't happy with, you know, being a size two. She wanted to be thicker. So you also mm-hmm. have to take that 
into accountability and not, you know. Yeah. But I feel like if it gets to a certain point where it's like out of control, either, and that's either going up or down with weed. But I, I feel like it know. gets to a certain point where you have to step You have to start, like, you know. Making sure your partner is healthy. Yeah. If you're going to be healthy and your partner is not, it's something wrong with that. And you know your partner is not going to be healthy. It's not going to be healthy. There's going to be problems. There's going to be in, like situations and then you could, that are bad. The, the attraction could end. And I feel yeah. like for me, like if a guy was, like I like skinny dudes, like really skinny. So I feel like if he was the game, like I like slim. You want to put all that, you want to put do. all of that body. I like skinny guys. I, like I, like I, like I can see it. <laughs> do skinny guys have bigger packages? I don't fun? know. I just, I'm always attracted What's to What's the vibe though? Like? I, I like like guys that are like skinny. Like I'm mm. always attracted to tall skinny dudes. Like six two, six three, but like 180, you know? Like yes. I, I like some dudes. So I feel like if he was to be like 250, I'm probably going to lose the attraction. I've never been attracted to So you want him like 150? Like 180. 180. 180. 150 is like... Like 6 is 180 is small. like my thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a child. If you well, go past that, I'm I wasn't like, even... Mm. One, I, I don't think I was... I think I was 150 coming out the room. Facts. Okay. In your partners, how big of a role does spirit, spirituality... I'm on, I know how to talk. Spirituality... Or religion play in your life? Um, it doesn't. I mean, I talk like, to a guy who's Muslim and I'm Christian. Does your partner have to believe in a higher power? Are you okay with them being a non-believer? How would that impact the relationship for you guys? I don't think I'm okay with them being a non-believer of anything. Nope, neither. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like you got to you, you you got to live for something and look up to something. Yeah. Something. Or believe in something. Or believe in something. Get you the universe. Something. something. Yeah. You know what I I'm mean, saying? You like, mess, you, I mean, I'm I'm a Christian. But my lover doesn't have to be a Christian. I, I yeah. can, you know, I'm a Christian. My brother is, like, he's not a Christian at all. He's into the earth and the spirit and, you know, cards and stuff like that. So it just, I mean, my lover doesn't have to be the same religion as me. They don't have to believe in the same. But as long as you do believe in something, yes, I do feel like that. It's just I, something. Yeah, I, no, but I, I, for me, I do think that, like, the person that I'm with has to believe in Jesus has to believe in God just because that's what I believe in and I feel like you know mm -hmm. I don't want that to conflict like I don't like you're an atheist well, I'm gonna, I, there's nothing I could do with you you know what I mean like we're gonna how are we gonna raise kids because I, I, that's the point that I'm at like you're gonna be telling my kids there's no God and I'm gonna be telling taking my kids to church it's like and no we have, you know you what, what I mean saying? and then they're yeah. they're gonna be confused and I know one way so I need the person that I'm with to be he doesn't have to be super religious, but he does have to believe in the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, like 100%, like no doubt in his heart, you know? But he don't I mean? have to go to church every you know, Sunday. No, I don't date be talking to Because you don't even corny. go to church every Sunday. So. <laughs> I used to, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no. Okay. How do you feel about your partners staying in contact or being friends with their exes? I feel I like I honestly I, I feel like it depends it depends. <laughs> okay, what it is it, I'll let you go because you have the problem. No, let, let 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 you speak first, then she's gonna go. Ahead, okay. Please. Um <laughs> I feel like it depends on the relationship. Mm -hmm. One how you guys broke up. Mm -hmm. Um because I, I'm still cool with my ex. Like we're not cool as in we text every day and stuff like that, no. But we're still cool to when I can see him out in public and speak to him and we can right, be in the I'm same cordial. circle right. and not, you know, feel a type of way. Um, but I mean, I'm not like gonna go out and hang out with him, and we go to the bar, and we going to no, I'm not doing all of that. Yeah. But um, I feel like you know, and my for my partner, I feel like it depends on how, you know, it, as long as his ex respects me mm -hmm. and respect our relationship, mm -hmm. and you know, that that's okay with me. But if you know, if it's still something there, and he feels some type of way, or she feels some, no, no. Uh, no, I'm not okay with that. I just feel for me personally, like when I've been in situations where I was in contact with my ex, it was because we were, you know, on the verge of getting back together, getting back together and breaking up again. And I just don't think for that. me as a woman, no, you're, what, what do you need to be friends with her for? Yeah. Like, there's no need for I mean, you definitely to be, not friends, but. Yeah, I don't need to be cool either. Like, there's no talking on the phone. He, she don't need your phone number. You don't need her phone I mean, number. Y'all don't never need to know all nothing all about that. each other. Like, yeah, why no, do you care? And what is, no, no. So not no. even like if they in the no. same. No, like, what do you don't speak to her? So, not so, in the same yeah. room. So if for they, what? 
I guess it is. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Yeah. Like I said, it's it also depends. Yeah. But it depends. I would it say it depends. Like, cause Shorty's yeah. married, got kids, it's not yeah, a Yeah, and she and even moved then, I don't on trust completely. It. Like, I can see, like, yeah, I'll speak to you. But if you single and you still been in his DMs or texting him, talking about you still love him and stuff like that, if you speak to this motherfucker in my face, I'm going to punch you in the face. And then well, my thing is this, though. If you know that he's in a, like, like let's say, okay, it's a situation or a scenario where she is in a relationship or you know it depends on how they broke up if they were like you know it's it's for me it depends on how they broke up like like how can i say this like i would say it depends on how they broke up if they were like you know they could have been like high school sweethearts that parted ways and haven't seen each other for years maybe they want to have a drink together okay fine but as far as like y'all just broke up a year ago yeah, just, you yeah. know what i mean like stuff like that yeah. i'm just not cool with no. So what if it's a situation where she does have more kids? Well, she does have kids and, and a family. It is and a stuff. family and a whole. I thing. would have to see the, their dynamic. I, I feel would. like it should be a situation where she should hit, hit him up and be like, you know what? Bring you and your you in a relationship, right? Bring you and your girl. Yeah. Let's yeah. double date. Let's, yeah. double date. Let's like go hang that. out. That's Let's fine. Go yeah, yeah, I would do yeah. that. Yeah, that I'm cool with. Yeah, but like you one on one. Hell no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. no. Definitely not. That's, no that's, that's a that's a problem. Definitely but, not a one on one. It depends. I'm an adult. I, I do can handle that. I do feel like also it's I'm on bomb as fuck. So if you take me, to yeah, the fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, we go fuck okay, it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's 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 also different with our sexualities too because I feel like we're, when it, it's we're both men and then it, the thing is it's like. You could be friends with another man in a certain way, but it does depend on how you broke up. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, in that pr- particular situation, if y'all broke up and it's kind of just like, if he cheated on you or if it's the thing right. like and that, it's still and emotions just, like still there when y'all broke up. You know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a bit much. Like, but it's, it's like, I kind of don't want y'all to be friends because I think he feel like he want to make up right. to you uh-huh. and then he going to try some shit. And then that's gonna make me try some shit. No, it's gonna so make it's kind of just, shit. you know. Yeah. So at the end of the, <laughs> yeah, that's and true. I try. I'm doing it. Like me, I feel like I'm that ex. Like I'm feel like I'm the ex you can't be friends with. You know what I mean? Like, right. No, your girl's not gonna want you to be friends with me. Yeah, because you just, oh, you just, because you're just too bomb. Like, no, not I'm because a, of that. Oh, because like, no, but you I feel still, like what like, I've been in relate, like the guys always try to come back to me. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? No, I don't know why because they're stupid. But I keep coming back. Shit. I'm gonna let it go. I'm about to say I ain't going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> okay, question: When your partner um, doesn't like your friend, mm-hmm. what do you do? I'm kind of just like, what you mean? You don't like my friend? I, I don't. I don't <laughs> mm, that's why me. I bring. I kind of like. Even if we're like not serious, I'll bring them around just to see how they interact. Mm-hmm. Just to see, now don't, yeah. But I mean, I've been I've been in a relationship where I brought them around and we weren't like really together, but I brought them around a lot. But even still, like they meshed well, so it wasn't a problem. But I mean, if you don't like my friend, that's a part of my life. Espe- like, especially years of friendship, I can't replace that with a relationship. Like you, you, you can't get there. So it's, if you really legit just don't like them, you and my friend just don't get along, I'll try the whole keep y'all separate thing, but it's like you can't come with me to events. Like you can't come with me to my best mm-hmm. birthday. Like you can't go out of town. It's like yeah. what's like it's like mm, it's not fun. So are you saying that you would choose uh, your friendships over? Okay, what if you were head of, head over heels in love with this person? Would you choose to continue the relationship and keep them away from your mm-hmm. friends if you were head over heels and there like there was not not no part of your heart telling you that you could let this person go? I mean, I would have to keep it separate, but I know me and I know my relationship with my friends, so that will make him feel some type of way because I'm always going to be there for my yes. and I'm always going to do so. If that's going to make he will probably feel some type of way. I wouldn't have a I wouldn't have a problem if I'm head over heels for a person. I, I would keep it separate. But if it starts to make him feel some type of way, he's more than likely going to Because I'm, mm-hmm. I, my loyalty to my friends is just like... So your friends over... Rose over hoes. Basically, like, like, what you always, mean? Like, yeah. Like, always in any situation? I mean, not always in any situation because, I mean, yeah. granted, me and my friends get into it. But I'm like... It depends. I don't know. It, 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 it's, that's a, it, it, you you kind of want to ride the fence, but it's like... Because yeah. I feel like I've dated this... I've dated a guy who my friend hate it mm-hmm. and i just know that it was just an issue so uh why I, did they hate him they hated him because they knew his ulterior motive they knew and 
they, they knew what was up. So it was like it was mm-hmm. you know they knew he was scheming and doing mm-hmm. shit. Like they knew what was going on. And um, I mean, he showed me that he loved me and everything and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, if my friends are telling me one thing, I got to, my mom always taught me good things come in threes. Mm-hmm. And if somebody tells me something three times about the yeah. same person and it's the same thing, yeah, I'm gonna listen to that. Period. Um, sometimes it's some people you don't have to tell them once. Like it's like you tell somebody one time and they're ready to pop off. Right. You tell somebody twice and it's like okay, now it's time to get it done. Like well, I want to have a conversation or they pop off. You get somebody like me, it's three times, okay, I want to cut it off. I don't want to have an issue with you or anything. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Okay. Guys, what is the best way to deal with heartbreak? Have you ever had to go through pain? How did you get through pain of, of, of losing a love or a relationship? Or how do um, you get through that? I'm kind of going through that right now. Somebody that I was with for a while, you know, and it's just taking me some time to get over it so I decided to give myself a year of not dating I'm always used to having somebody like my whole 20s you know what I mean so I feel like now is the time for me to really get to know myself to get in my bag and be the woman that a man doesn't want to lose because I feel like you know like people didn't necessarily value me the way I feel like I needed to be valued so right now how I'm dealing with it is just working on myself working on my business, working on, you know, my friendships, working on developing a character that, the, the character that I, you know, want my husband to love, you know what I mean? Like, that I want my husband, I want to be the woman that my husband's looking for, huh. if that makes sense. So you know how, I mean? how has that been, that process for you? Hard. It's really hard. It's not. It's hard. It's hard not to go on dates. It's so hard. It's hard not to talk to guys. Cause I meet. A, I met a couple of guys that I wanted to talk to, and I was like, you know what? It's not the time. Like you're not ready because you're. I feel like I don't want to enter something new if I'm still not over cert- someone. I feel like that's wrong, and I feel like a lot of people do that, and I have done that before, mm-hmm. and it did not work out. It turned really ugly, mm-hmm. and I would never want to enter a relationship until I'm completely over. I don't want to be at the point where this person could knock on my door, and I'm gonna you know, open it for them. I want to be at the door, you nigga, you knock it on my door, I'm not opening it, all right, go ahead, go on with your life. And I'm not at that point, so I wouldn't want to enter another situation. But it is hard not to date, because I do, you know, have people that I'm like, okay, this person is like a potentially good guy that I would want to, you know, let take me out. And then I'm like, no, I can't, because I need to get my shit together and be emotionally ready to let someone new in, if that makes sense. How have you dealt with heartbreak before, Corey? Um... I mean, the initial heartbreak, of course, is always, like, the worst. So, I'm an emotional person because I get very attached to whoever I'm dating. And um, it, it becomes, like, the initial breakup, I cried, a lot of other stuff, but it's hard. But eventually, I really just say, okay, this is where you, this is where you have to get yourself up. Like, you have to put yourself into you and get back to you and, um, that's what I. That's what I've been doing. That's what I did. Um, it took me a while. I don't. I do the same thing. Cynthia do. I mean, shit. Use Cynthia. my name. <laughs> but mind you, I'm because I'm thinking male, so I'm like, yeah, shit, yeah. no Melody, but it is okay. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I do exactly what she do. I don't date for a while because I. It takes me a, a while to get over somebody, especially like because I know if I'm really if I get into a relationship with you, I'm attached to you. I'm like. You are my everything. So it takes me a while to get over that. I don't understand when people like break up with somebody and like and six same, months later. Yeah. So even six or months or two like, weeks, like mm-hmm. it's just like, okay, so what did, did really I mean to me? Like, what did you know I mean to me? Yeah. So I feel like in situations like that you gotta also question like if that person fell out of love within the relationship. Because, you know, some people don't know how to cut it off. I mean, you can fall out of love with somebody like three months into the like I me. Mean, okay, let's three months before you actually break right. up with them. You know what? It, it's kinda just like you some people just don't have the stomach to just be like, you know what, I'm done with the relationship. It is what it is. You can be in a marriage with somebody and it's like, you know what, this is a business, bitch. It's I'm scary. not breaking up. We're not breaking up. This is not right. a thing. Uh, we're going to have to work this out. We're going to need to get a therapist or something. Like, But at the same time, I do understand people who are kind of just like, look, I'm done with this. 
I'd rather that than I want to get out of the relationship. Too. Yeah, you know, like, I, I, I just want to jump that. out of just it. Leave me the fuck alone. So yeah. Move on. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be with you, whatever. And then there are some people who are okay with being in a relationship two weeks later. And it's kind of just like, okay, well, it's, in a way, it's kind of crazy because it's like, also for them yeah, sometimes, but sometimes. at the same time, it's like, it's, some people can use it as a rebound. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do that, but people actually do that. We're not going to act like it's not happening. Because some, some people, that's how some people do it. You know, they feel like yeah, to right. get over somebody, they got to get under somebody, somebody else. else. It, right. So it's like, it is what it is. Okay. In a relationship, what do you do if your partner wants a threesome and you don't? No, period. We're not happening. <laughs> period. So it's not happening. And if I don't want one, it's not happening. Why you and then, but then don't. I feel you. like you don't break it to me. Like, hey, babe, I want to have a threesome. I feel like if you, you have, it's a way you go do you, about. How it. do you feel about you know? Have you done one before? How do you feel about? Why them? you gotta ask me? Go do that shit with don't, the. The, the, I go wish do you that. Go, I wish go you to the strip club, find two fucking bitches that's with it, and go do it with them. Why and, are you and asking don't me? Come, but you, and, and he come, he can come back home. No. Oh, okay. He should have done that before oh, he so got with saying, me. Bye. Get your whole shit out before you get right, with me. Right. Okay. So that you could be yeah. for me. I don't mind you being a yeah. hoe before you met me, but don't be a hoe. I do. When you I kind of do too. Uh, I don't. Uh, nigga, do what you do. Okay, so you got cheating. Yes, I have. What's that Do you forgive cheating? Can you deal with being cheated on? It, it. It's subjective. It depends. If I got a ring on my finger if we married, it's different. Now, for me... One time. For me, it's... There's two type of cheaters for me. Now, if it was a one-night stand, Once. or like you were drunk and you had sex with somebody, you know, and, you know, it was nothing after that, I could probably forgive that. But if you were basically in a whole other relationship with this person, like you were giving them the same thing you were giving me, definitely not forgiving that because you clearly just give... This energy to everybody, like you, I wasn't special to you enough for you to, yeah. I feel like I'd rather not know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd rather not but know. But sex, if yeah. You but, love me. Yeah. I feel like you, you would go wouldn't to let me. To me. Yeah. You wouldn't want to hurt me. I feel like if someone loves you, they don't want to hurt you. Yeah, I understand all that. The truth, shit. You love me. You don't want to hurt me. I wouldn't want to look into some. I would. I love my mother. I don't want to hurt my mother. So yeah, I'm gonna tell her a lie about something if it's if I think it's gonna hurt her. And as long as it's not gonna, you know, something. I don't know. I just feel well, like not necessarily if you love just me, don't let me know. Don't like, don't, let I don't want to find out. I, don't I mean, want you don't do it. it. <laughs> right? Right. But don't don't fucking do it because right. I'm going to look for it. But yeah. I want you to be more. I want you to be more on your toes than me yeah. to keep it from me. I don't like to look for things because I feel like you know Shit, things look, come to I'm me. Sorry. I I look, you know, I it's look. like I don't really have. I look because I don't want nothing to jump out at me. I don't want nothing to hit me. I want to hit it. Like it always comes out. Like people, it always comes out. It, it always just comes yeah, out. It always do, but I don't want to be like a weeks, year later. It comes out in two weeks. Especially with sex. If it like, comes out a year later. Out here, don't be out fucking it. But what if you don't find it out until know. like a year into the yeah, relationship? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Though. That's why I look. That's why I always look. It's just because I'm not. Saying. I just that, you always it. own it. I'm okay. Looking. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm that. And I'm not going to sneak through your phone. I'm the. Let me see your phone. I want to see your phone right now. Give it to me. You can sit right here. I'll go through it with you, but. I'm not sneaking it, but I'm looking. I'm look. I'm no hell no. You're not the type to go with the face ID. No, I'm not. I'm, you can sit beside me and do it. No, 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 no. no. Like at night, you know. How no, uh, uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. I want you I'm to know I'm going through it. Like, yeah. But that too, I got your password to everything. Like, if we're in a relationship, I want your password. You can have mine. Oh, I don't know about I'll, that. If we're in a relationship, I'll give me your password. So where's the boundary? Where? I'm, Where's the boundary? I need privacy. I don't mean like I don't mean we. I don't mean you have to give me your password. I feel no, like you don't if you want to openly give it to me, that's fine. You don't have to because I'm, I'm gonna openly give you mine. I don't really care if I feel like I trust no, you I'm enough. Like, okay. I feel like if I don't trust you enough, I mean, I'll just give it to you. It is what it is. I'm not doing nothing. If I'm in a relationship, I'm doing you. Period. Like, don't give me so, a reason to want to ask you for your password. Also, that I need. don't put me in that position. Bury that. You know, like that's, that's the yeah, bottom line. Very much If I don't much trust so you, then really. We can't yeah, move forward. Right. And I feel like cheating is such a big deal because it's so traumatic. And I'm never going to look at you the same. So why would you want to even let me and find you out? Hit it. Why would you, you want to hurt time. me? I can't fuck you no more. Really, because like, my kitty's not going to get wet for you. Because I feel like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not going to be, I feel like you lose the, the, the attraction when somebody cheats. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, for me, like, I feel like it's just never the same. Like, I'm a 
imagining you touching somebody else. I'm imagining mm -hmm. you being at paying for dinner or, you know, that doing things that you could have been spending that time with me, <laughs> working it out you with me. You could have been me dinner. I was Yeah, hungry. like, you know what I mean? Where my like, state? <laughs> why are you going to give somebody time, that precious time that you could be spending with the woman that you supposedly love, giving it to somebody else because you're bored? Go I'm find something to do to, let's go somewhere. Okay. Okay. You know what I, I mean? Go, go in the bathroom. Okay. Hey, daddy, let's just question the uh, raunchy. No, we'll take them and enjoy it. Oh, can, can this be a speed round? Let's yeah, do it. Let's, let's just go through it. This is speed trivia. Come on, y'all. Kill it. What, like, yeah, let's go. what do you do when you get horny in public? Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Run to the bathroom and jack off. Oh, no, I'm playing. Yeah. I, I don't do that. I think about my grandma or some shit. Uh, yeah, I think about, I think, like, if I get a random hard on, like, I, I try to think about, especially if I'm yeah, like about to get out of the I get hard off at the most awkwardest times. I'm gonna be honest, oh like me God. getting out the car I and church, the like person. it's the church. <laughs> no, I really have like I, I get like it's so weird. So I have to think of something like or look at somebody ugly or something. Like, <laughs> so people, I think everybody's beautiful in their own way, by the way. But I, you know. Somebody beauty, unattractive. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I cross my legs. I, I like to cross my legs a lot. Yeah, People like to look too. at it and they think, like, oh, he's very gay. He's fem. No, I just be hard sometimes. So it's like, it's, I just try to like cut the blood circulating. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever masturbated in a public bathroom? Yes. 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 <laughs> you get the eye. Where? What that? What? I've done that word. So, really? uh, I did that work too. I did that work too. I did that work too. When I worked. Like a, a while ago, yeah. But sometimes, you know, you just. You gotta get it out. Gotta get it out. Yeah. I'm not at airport too. You know? What's the strangest prop you've ever used to get yourself off? Oh my god, y'all really want to know? I ain't going out. Oh my god. Keep it real. What's the strangest prop, prop you ever used? I don't, I'm like, don't use a prop. Uh, Cynthia, what is it? Spit? <laughs> That's a prop? A vegetable. <laughs> With, what, a what cucumber? It? No, it was not a cucumber. What was it? Uh, a, a eggplant. A watermelon. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was a, a watermelon. Eggplant. Oh, Jesus. But as a guy, not inside of oh, me. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking that. I'll what cut it over if you tried it. But, you know, it's, you know at, no, it was. <laughs> it was a banana. I used a banana. Oh, okay. oh. You wanted a little curve. <laughs> <laughs> nah. What what's, the, what's the most sexually daring thing you've ever done? <laughs> daring. That's a bad one for me because I'm. I don't know what's daring. Like, give me. Okay. Daring is like uh, I don't want to say freaky, but like you, you look back and like, what the hell? Like I was still like, oh, come on, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Y'all trying to get me in trouble? Um. Can we skip this one? Okay. Yeah, can we skip this one? In your know. opinion. I don't want to tell nobody. What does it mean to be good in bed? <laughs> uh, just the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's a bad Yo, vibe, you know like, you I don't want that. You I know? feel like... It, you don't know how to touch. You don't know how to kiss. You know what you I'm saying? Kitties, it's a problem. You don't know how Wait, to as far as sexual? Oh, yes. I didn't get that far. I'm thinking... What does it mean to be good in bed? Oh, opinion. good in bed. Yeah. Um, you... I feel... Fire has to be there. Yeah, the I feel like it's your swag there. in the bedroom. The chemistry yeah, has to be amazing. Yeah, the chemistry has to be there. But I feel like it's your it's your swag in the bathroom. Um, mm -hmm. I'm Come on, sex. Shit, hell, I had sex everywhere. Bathroom, bedroom, kitchen. Do you have a go-to masturbation yeah. fantasy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's your go-to masturbation from the ch From my childhood. Period. <laughs> I just think of my ex-boyfriend. Oh, oh, God. Please, I hope... For anybody that's dating her in the future, if you see this, I'm gonna think about my new still, man. Uh, okay. uh, oh, because you're single, you think about your ex. But I just oh. have, I, I just fantasize about said person. Mm -hmm. You know, if it, if if I'm a, what kind of porn turns you on? I love straight porn. I really do love straight porn. I love straight porn. I like to see. I like titties. I like titties to titties. see. I like to see white girls get like. Skinny white girls, though. You like to see what you're not saying, though. I like to see skinny white girls get... Gang bang. But, but, yeah, like... What What about that turns you on? I don't know. It's, it's just like... Oh, I'd be amazed, because I'm like, bitch, you could fit all of that in there? Like, yeah. really? Like, and, and, and really just be... Enjoy, like, okay. Like, it, just, it amazes me to the point where it turns me on. Mm. I don't know. Porn don't turn me on. 
<laughs> but I literally will watch a variety of porn. I like girl on girl porn. I, th- I just think it's fake. Like I don't know. There's no passion. So like not whatsoever. It's like just hard. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like it's different for girls too. Like I think it's you, funny. y'all gotta have a whole setup. So Corey, okay, I, so this is a good question for you. You've been with men and women. Mm-hmm. Those you have a son. What do you like better? Do you, do you like ass or vagina? And what? Um, I mean, the, Ooh. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I would go back as a, I would say I like men better, mm-hmm. but I would definitely st- I would date a girl, and if I was to get into a relationship with the girl, I would be faithful to her. Um, but I do like being with a guy better than being with a girl. Um, more so because I'm I'm kind of an emotional, and not saying I'm an emotional wreck, but I'm an emotional person. So it's just, I feel like I can comfort, but but only but so much. Like okay. girls can be too emotional sometimes. It's like, fuck, like, and, and then like, if you're emotional, I'm going to get emotional. But we're only emotional when guys do something. That and I, I like, I like, I like a little, I like, I like, I like, I like guys. I like the, you know, I like, a little masculine, masculine. I don't. I, I like that sometimes. Like that's just. You know. And um, I'm not about to date a butch girl. Like. Yeah, girl. I mean, you know, I used to have crushes on butch girls, but I never wanted to date one because I knew they didn't have a dick. But mm. I think they cute. Like I think Young Ma is mad cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like I wish she would. Right. Like she's mad cute. Like, she can grow like, one she, she could probably like I would probably, probably let her be... bag me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I would. You would let her like, bag you, but you would. I don't know if I'm. I'm attracted to her because she looks like would a like boy. Eat your Probably not. I don't know. I don't you? know. Maybe. Because you're gonna be like, if once you eat it, it's like I don't you know. Maybe lick it, I, and it stick would depend. It. Like I would have to. No. I so don't know. question: Would you do you have to lick it and stick it, or you find with just getting it? Oh, that's no, a good No, I don't one. like the. I like the stick. You like the just the stick? Yeah, I like the stick. Oh my god. Who had the stick? I like. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I like it all, but you know, I like the. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if they, if they, okay, so basically, if if you lick it, if you have to stick it, period. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So licking is like no. preparation for you. Yes. Right. Got like you, you can't okay. just be satisfied with the no. right. This is no. a part of the process. No, 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 no. no we are building. <laughs> right. Like, I mean, mean, right. This is just foreplay. This right. is just this the appetizer. Is just stage one. I need you know, the whole like, yeah. foot inside of me. Licky, licky. You know. The whole foot in me. Right. Oh, yeah. The whole thing. Jesus. Have you ever used food during sex? Yes. You, yeah. you, I mean, yeah, like whipped cream, like cherries, yes. strawberries, like you know, the whole sexual foreplay, like the whole. Does naughty talk get you hot? Yeah, I like talking shit. Hell yeah, I, I like love talking, talking shit. I like, my, I like my, I like. I talk a lot of shit during shit. sex. It makes guys feel really good. Do it right too. here. Do it right yeah. here. In the ear. Yeah. Yes, right like I, I need it like, to be like, like you only talking to me. Don't Not a whisper, it out, but like you, something real soft. Yeah, you know. I don't like. Don't yell it out like you want everybody. To know. Yeah, say, like say it because you just want me to know. Like that's gonna make me like. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What's the dirty thing someone ever said to you during sex? Oh my <laughs> god. We going there? I, I've heard a lot I of crazy some pretty shit. I've heard things, some actually. horrible things. <laughs> you nasty. I've things. heard some horrible things and I've said, I, me, I know I've said some you know? shit. You know? Baby, what? Skip. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> Pass. How, how many times have you had sex with someone when you didn't even know their name? Never. Oh, no, never. I've never. Never. I've never done that. Okay. Nah. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing that turns you on? I mean... Mm, weird? I mean, I feel like if it turns me on, it's not weird. Mm. Like, that's just my preference. Okay. Like, so, it might be weird to you that weird. I like feet. Because you might not like feet, but I like feet. So, it might mm. be weird to you, but that's my preference. Um... A lot of things turn me on, though. H H. I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, if I, I'm attracted to you, mostly all the shit you do is gonna turn me on. Yeah. Too. So people look at me and I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah. wanna take all my clothes off, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay with your pet partner masturbating without you? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Cause I'm going to most of the time. Sometimes if I'm, I'm feeling not it, most if you at work, <laughs> I'm not okay with him watching porn though. You're not. No. I say do your thing. Yeah, just don't do it. Especially if I'm if I'm out of town or something, and you feeling it, I'd rather you do that than I'll see. 
No, I that's mean, another level. Yeah, I mean, what if you like see? I because I travel for work. Yeah. So, so if you, you want, if you want, I mean, but what if I'm at work and you feeling like you want to like do okay, it right so there? Beat your dick off, but why you gotta watch porn while you beat your dick off? I mean, well, for, for a guy, it's visual. You know, yeah, like, it's, it's yeah, like yeah, you gotta yeah. see. It's like yeah. stimulation. Like, I mean, I look at my face. And I rather, and I rather you watch my, porn than think of your ex girlfriend or boyfriend. This is true. My nude. I, I can't. I don't. Me personally, I can't jack off to news. Like I can't. Oh, I can't look video? at a picture. Just station a video, yeah. Okay. So but we have to make multiple ones because so I don't like watching the same video right, over. I'll like, make multiple ones. Like I'll probably see every point <laughs> made to mankind. <laughs> I swear to God. What's your favorite blowjob technique? Pass. <laughs> I I like what I like when they deep throw. I feel like that's like that just. Ooh. I can't tell on myself. Oh, it's hard to do that though. But hey, I tried. That's why I don't know how to pimp. Uh, <laughs> what? Gordon? I can't. I, I can't okay. take it. Have yeah. you ever been caught having sex? Caught mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I've never like no. I've never been caught like by my mom. I've never cheated on anyone, so I've never like got caught cheating. I just got caught the night after. I mean, the day after, morning after, I should say. Yeah. I've been. I've what do you mean caught having sex? Like somebody catches you having sex. I was about to tell about the <laughs> by the question. Because <laughs> maybe that's not a question, so I don't even have to answer. So I'm just gonna keep it to myself. But oh um, I've never been caught like caught cheating. No, I'm even caught cheating. Caught I've sex. never cheated, but I've never been caught having sex. No. What do you do if your partner is into drugs? You been. Oh. I mean, it's just a- into now. I feel, honestly because I've dated someone that that dibbles and dabbles in drugs. They're not addicted to it, no. But if they go out, you know, sometimes they'll do it, and you know, they'll be fine. Like they'll pop a molly, and if the, if you're addicted, like if you're just doing it every day, all day, that's a you ain't got no job. You ain't got that's that's you yeah, know, no, not at all. But I feel like some people okay. like to go out and party hard sometimes. Yeah. Every once in a while, I, I know I've had my time where I've party hard tonight and 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 done a you know, pop the molly. I'm going to be honest. I popped the molly before and and I had a good night. I don't. Okay. I haven't popped it since then, but you know I had a good time. So, so it's just you know. You but know. if you're if you, you know, yeah. You try things. I'm talking about stronger stuff. Like, let's say they're into cult. That's oh, a problem. Like, no. Well, that's a problem. Into that. I think that they, you know, seek help. Yeah. I'm not like, going to be just... a part of that. I don't. I'm going to help you out. I don't even want my man smoking cigarettes. You know what I mean? And I yeah, tend I to, like, like, like. I smoke like, weed. Like, guys that I don't. Like, guys. I, the guys that have mm-hmm. dated were weren't yeah, drinkers. Yeah. Like, I had one that was, like, a borderline alcoholic. And, but, but I left him alone. But the guys that I was, like, really in love with. Wasn't a drinker, wasn't yeah. a smoker, never did drugs. So. I mean, I've never dated anybody that's been hard on drugs. And so I've had substance really like abusers in my family, so I know the effects of the crack era, and yeah. I'm not with it. My thing, no. I, I mean, my dad was, that was a situation. I kind of grew up in a family where my, the person I was looking up to was, you know, had a drug addiction. So mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of just, it's, it's hard for me. Like I'm open to the situation, but at the same time, it's I I think it's subjective like as well too. It, but you're yeah, like alcoholism, hell nah. Yeah, like no. if you drink all the time, we got a problem. Like yeah. that's 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 a big big issue. Cause that's and that's that. easy to get to. Like, you know what I'm saying? You go to like, your local it's corner too, get that. That's like, too easy. Drugs, you at least got if you ain't got to connect, you got to go find the shit. Cause I saw that and I experienced that. Nah. Yeah, no, neither for me because I see seen the effects of both on families and. and me personally in my life yeah i you know i've had family members you know very people very close to me that did drugs and were alcoholics all around me my whole life so you wouldn't be with them but would you like would you take the time to help them out yes you gotta understand people people that are on drugs and people that drink is so hard to get them to stop it's nothing like you could it's basically like watching somebody crash a car over and over and it's nothing you could do your tears don't matter nothing matters just just thinking about themselves and their fix and their needs and yeah. it's really hard to deal with yeah. it's really hard yeah a lot of people going here uh well first off uh diamond shine i'm gonna fly from china to america just for jarell oh I can't come on well take me back with you i can't deal with you if you do drugs no nope, can't with drugs uh diamond shine i'll try to help you but if you're not trying to get help then bye bye mm-hmm. mm. drugs make people go crazy so much that i only smoke weed Shout out to well, the so, much, so Cynthia likes the bread <laughs> and the hot dog. 
Uh, uh, What's the point? Hey, Corey, what you get with me, that's going to change. I'm not a military. Oh, man. Who is that? The Diamond Shine. I, I like to see Diamond thick booty boys get pounded. Oh, okay. I like family role play. Okay. Family role play? I like, like Brazilian. Daddy, mommy? Like a, yeah. I like, like Brazilian. Brazilian porn? Yeah. Because <laughs> they have a Brazilian. nice toasted skin tone. It's uh-huh. really sad. And oh, I love it. When the sweat, it's a lot. I love it. I love yeah, it. it is Who's nice. here for it? I am. <laughs> okay, if you're at the workplace and someone keeps on trying to get with you and mm. you're refusing their advances, what do you do? You're if basically the getting place, harassed. That's what you're getting doing. harassed. I'm going to file sexual harassment and get your ass up out of there. Especially if I don't already want like you. Like, if I don't want you, I'm good. Yeah, now, now if I want you, you know, I'm, we can slide her. But, you know, if, if I've made it clear I don't want no parts, and you keep trying to give me parts, That's I'm going issue. to get you up out of there. Period. I don't know how I would handle that. I just feel like, for me, I, if I curse you out, I think that's not well, you know, I feel like women, y'all get, <laughs> as a woman, how is it for you as a woman? Like, because women get harassed daily. Yes. It could be something as Sometimes simple as like your pretty girl walking it. down the block. Yeah. And a man I didn't like, got to fuck you. I didn't, oh, bitch, suck my dick. Like, I didn't got it all. So I know, like, it's really, I love it. like, it's a touchy even when you ignore you get cursed no, out. No, I've gotten ignored because I cursed. I mean, I've gotten cursed out because I ignored dudes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, That's uh, horrible. Yeah. I hate, and I hate in when New York, they be bugging out. Like, yeah, no, New York, they're like, niggas do that to us too. Oh, I'm sorry. Not so what's your, what's, okay, so Shindia, as a woman, if you want, what are the things, but give me the, give me scenarios. You, you leave out, you're walking. All right, I'm walking out the block and be like, excuse me, excuse me. You know how they, excuse me, miss, miss. How you doing, beautiful? And I'm just like, oh, you can say thank you. You can I, say thank you. Oh, fuck out of here. But I do have to suck my dick. To my, to my, and I'll but, be like, suck my dick. No, but. <laughs> no, no, but I'll be arguing. See, like, but, sometimes, not all the time. I've seen it all, though. But I know. honestly, Next, I feel like. If, but I feel like it's, you can speak back. If I, I've seen it but all. But even I'm if telling. I just say, you're beautiful. Nice. Like, you can say yes, thank you. And then, you know, if I try to say thank you. Because you're opening the door. You kind of want to talk to me. Yeah, I know that. But even, I mean, not saying you have to speak back every time. Well, just say, I'm good. I'm good. You know, thank you. Sometimes I speak back, and then it's like, you follow me to my block. You know what I mean? How many times have you gotten followed? Oh, I oh can't count. I've been getting followed since I was 12. <laughs> 12. By grown men. Grown men that in their 20s. Cool. Follow me when I was a little ass girl. And you could tell I was a little girl when I was 12. I did not oh, look God. like nothing but a kid. So, I yeah. got it. All that <laughs> body, <girl. laughs> so, let me ask you guys a question. Mm-hmm. What do you, in, in, in relationships and things of that nature, dating, what is age brackets? Give me above and below. Like, what don't you go below? What don't you go above? I don't go below. Well, I've only been below. I've okay, and the for any, but what do y'all feel is appropriate age brackets? I mean, for me, I would never date anybody less than like five years younger than me. For me personally, okay. me too. Now I've I've I dated I've dated one because it's a maturity thing with mm-hmm. me, right, yeah. and I, I've been much. I've had to mature at a very young age, so I've never really dated. I've only dated and still is dating someone that's that's younger than me. I, that's this is my first time ever doing it and I'm enjoying it but five years for me going down going up um I, I mean I, my baby mom is 10 years older than me fun fact about Terrell um well Corey and uh I mean I've dated someone that was like 14 years older than me before mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have to keep I, it in the 10 year and that was actually my longest 10 year relationship. range like mm-hmm. five, maybe five years I want to say five years, like four or three years younger is the youngest I would go, and probably like ten years older. Ten, yeah, seven gonna, to ten years older. I've gone on dates with someone that's been like four years older. I was talking to a twenty-one-year-old kid one time, and I'm just like, it's nothing I could do with you because you're, you know, like. Is everybody like in their twenties? Yes. Yes. Uh, that's pretty young. So it's like if you go anywhere below right, twenty, right. it's like, it's like well, yeah. even then, like even twenty one, like twenty one, we can do everything. Like yeah. it's like you know we can go to the bar together, we can do stuff like that, so on and so forth. However, I'm not gonna go and jump for somebody who's yeah. like twenty one. So do you have an issue with somebody forty dating somebody twenty one? No. Stay business. I'm, I'm about to say that's business. that's that's on. I'm just speaking on my preference now. I feel like now if you're forty dating somebody eighteen, I have a problem. with but I, think it's I don't even care if 18, I, people say 18 is legal. No, no, I'm sorry, no. 18, 19, no. 20, even still 20, no, still what fine me is. I mean, hell, even that up to about 35, you still what fine me is, me personally. <laughs> but it's like, no, no, 
No. Well, I mean, a forty year old dating a twenty one year I know my cousin was twenty one and she was dating somebody that was that was forty Did something. They last. It did. They like they they're last. Still together? No, they're not. Oh. They're not. But they Is were together. They were dating. They were dating for five years. Okay. Yeah, they were dating for five years, and like in a relationship, not just like that was a, like that was a chick. Yeah. They, no, they were in a relationship. Can you date someone that had a lot of potential but had bad hygiene? No. Oh no, I, hygiene is a big thing for no. me. So I'm hygiene sorry, is no. number one. No, no, hygiene. You, you don't think you could teach them? No. no. That you can't teach okay. a grown. You can't teach a grown no, person to be clean. Uh, yeah, no. you can't teach a grown person how no. to, how to have good hygiene. Talk. If you I have to teach you at twenty something how to properly clean your ass, brush your teeth, wash your face, no, hell no, no, no. No. Although you can't teach affection to someone, you can teach somebody to be a little bit more physical with you. you and you can't teach them things that you want in sex. However, I mean, if they're like on a, that bracket of things, on hygiene, you can't teach nobody yeah. to be clean. But that's I mean, not, that, if, that, if they're messy, like they leave stuff, you know, they don't clean up behind themselves, that's something I feel like, yeah, you can teach them. I'll, I'll be a little lenient towards them. But, but hygiene? Mm. My nigga, hygiene? Really? <laughs> You mean to tell me you didn't wash your ass in three days and you want to give me some or you want me to get you? If you don't get out of here, you didn't get to sleep up next to me with these crusty ass Okay, guys, so moving away from that, celebrities, right? Okay. Is there a limit to standing, fanning, whatever? Like, can y'all, how do you? What do y'all define as like a super fan and the stand and, and like just psychos? Well, like I'm a super fan. We know, but no, you're not. You're a big fan. I'm a big you're fan. Be you're not a yes, super I'm a, fan. Though. I am a super fan. I hit my friend when she was talking shit about Beyonce. I mean, you what? I hit her. With a pillow, but I still hit her. And she oh my a pillow. god! I mean, so yeah. No, but I hit her really hard. But you ain't like I'm a you ain't spent your last dime on a on a, I'm a on every fan. Beyonce concert. You ain't like got Beyonce tattooed on your face. Like you don't no. like. No, okay, so that's, I'm go, not a super like, fan, but I'd be going mad yeah, hard. I though. mean, yeah, you're a big I'm fan. I would definitely. It's your limit. You think it's your it's your like just. Too I'm a big fan of Re. That's uh, that's my. I love her. I love Rihanna. Is it okay to be a big fan of her? I'm a big no. I'm, I'm, a, big I, I'm a fan of Beyonce's. I, I love Beyonce music. I, she's not my favorite because I haven't really gotten. I, I haven't got that personal. I like Re is just like just all out. It's just it's there. Yeah. Like her, Cardi B, like those. I love women like, it's like that. Raw. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, I love women like that. Yeah. Mine is Beyonce and J Lo. I love J Lo. I love Beyonce. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're the ultimate women. Yeah. And I just you know those are like women that I look at like wow they're so powerful they're so amazing they're so mm-hmm. beautiful. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's a limit because motherfuckers be crazy. They be stalking I love celebrities. Lady Gaga too. They be just doing Adele. too much, buying all their Jasmine merch when Sullivan. they don't have money. Oh my god. Yeah. I, oh, no. But yeah, no, yeah, like stalking, stalking them, like hiding out at their house. I, Chris Brown, somebody, they, they yeah, like broke into her house. Somebody broke into her house too. Yeah, and was waiting for her, waiting for her to get home. That's so crazy. Shit, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I probably would have been waiting for. It's like I done broke up in here. I'm gonna wait for her to get home to see, to see, see her. And even if the police get here before she do, leave me the fuck here, lock me up, and keep me in the cage right here. Let me ask you guys a question. Okay, you just broke Chris Brown. Um, what? What do you think about that recent situation that went down with him in Paris? I just think everybody's just, it seems like I feel like everybody's out to get him. him. You know like, what I yeah, mean? he For did no something. Reason. I feel like, I feel like everybody's still on his neck about what he did. The Rihanna situation. And yeah, the, and, and I feel like, they, I feel like they've moved on from that. No, they might not have healed from that, but they moved on from that. And I feel like they shouldn't hold that. I feel like they're still holding that over that man here. Like, he hasn't, they haven't been giving him awards that he definitely deserves. They haven't been doing a lot of stuff. And I feel like everybody's trying to put this back. Yeah. Notation on him because of that one situation, where there's been people that's in the industry that's done worse shit besides mm-hmm. hit a woman like worse shit and still people you know. It's I think it's just I think y'all really yeah like no he he he, raping or whatever the case that's still fucked up and I'm not but saying like it. take it like exactly and that's my thing and that's that's another thing like you can't put I hate when they, they're putting so much on him like they're trying to Tupac yeah and it's like stop doing that like th- let this man be great in, in what he do let this man yeah he fucked up but that's not him like but don't you think with that situation it was very I understand what you're saying and I agree but do, on a flip note do you guys feel that okay the severity of what he did of what 
of him beating up Rihanna. He was 19. Yeah. That's number one. He was young. They were young in love. She hit him too. I understand. Like, I've been there. And I've I been never believe that. Situations hit, hit where me and my boyfriend, we at it. We fighting each other. He punching me in the face. I'm hitting him. Nah. We're getting it popping. And we, I was mad young. So I understand when you're young and in love and you're just two reckless people. It's the fact that it played out. You know what out, I mean? I just feel, I feel like, like it played out, oh, you know, because they are megastars. They were megastars. And they, it was how both of them handled it. 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 Yeah, it's the thing is, it took a while for Chris Brown to get over it because I feel like it was kept being thrown on yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, Like, he didn't get a chance to breathe from it. Yeah. But the greatest people, the greatest artists are all tortured solely. Look at Michael Jackson, look okay. at Elvis mm -hmm. Presley, I look at that. Lena Horne, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, They're yeah. all, and these people are artistic geniuses. Yeah, yeah. And Chris Brown I'm... is amazing. He is so talented. Yes. He's an extremely... Super, like he's a super talent, you know yeah. what I mean. So I feel like focus on his talents because he, it, I don't think that. And that I feel like they they make his bad him. outweigh his good. Yeah, and like, he's I definitely mean, done more good than bad. He definitely, definitely. do what R. Kelly did, and no. people still listening to exactly. his shit and calling him. Great. And then like so he has a whole daughter that he's taking care of. I feel like that mm -hmm. alone should trump a whole All bunch. Of of, yeah, like I hope like, and I know that he's he's learned from it because mm -hmm. he's really there for his daughter. He's taking care of her and. And I know that he would never want that situation to happen to his daughter, what he did to Reed. So I feel like, you know, it, it it's all kind of playing back on him. But I feel like throwing it on him and trying to, you know, keep making him out to be the bad guy, I feel like it's yeah. wrong. And he is a super, like, you know, he's a single black father. Amazing. Like, give him credit. Okay, with a go ticket. Yeah. Did any of you guys see the Soldier Boy interview that went down last week? Oh, when, I he, was on, when he was on some show and <laughs> he just right. started telling them. The Breakfast Club. What happened? Yeah, what happened? You ain't seen it. You missed it. Breakfast club? You saw oh, it? you know, on social media. Oh. Yeah, what happened? Did you see? Okay, first he went on there talking about like how people are not giving him essentially like right. wanting like his due for the he started this shit for his contributions to you know things going viral and social media and all those the things. culture. So he just started wilding. He started wilding on Drake. He started wilding on um Tiger. Tiger. He was like, oh, Travis Scott took his bitch like. I put Tiger on. He was just leaving everybody he put on. And then he went on an another show. Um, that other show. What is it? Um, the show with academics. What's the name of it? Um, that shit is not whack, but... They, it's not she, good anymore. It's a complex show you're talking about. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, that interview was crazy because, like, the girl asked him, she was like, why do you have so many businesses? And he was like, why don't you have so many businesses? I came from the dirt. I'm from the bottom. I'm from the hood. That's why I got so many businesses. Because I don't ever want to go back to where I came from. Honestly, he was talking some real shit. Yeah, because this... I, I mean, so I thought she was out of order. Businesses. Let's all talk about it here. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're in a time where, you know, a lot of people don't want to work for... They don't want to work for other people. They want to create their own brands. Yeah. They want to create their own businesses. They want to make their own avenues. Yeah. What do you guys feel about that? Like, what do you feel about honestly? I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it and do it right. For, what do you feel about don't... turning a hustle into a business? I do it and do it right. Water. Yeah, that's 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 just my. Do Let it be legal. Right. I'm not I'm not gonna be a fan of anybody doing illegitimate shit yeah. because somebody has scammed me before. I don't got time for that. Yeah. However, yeah. I feel like you should just do do what you want to do, but do it right. Don't do. That. I honestly feel like. Mm -mm. I feel like it's important to be yeah. an entrepreneur, especially, yeah. you know, as people I mean, of color, we, as black people, yeah, we definitely. really need to start owning our own shit, yeah. and we need to really, you know, move forward and learn that we don't have to work for people, exactly. especially as millennials, you know, there's so much that we can do mm -hmm. with social, there are so many avenues that we can mm -hmm. take to make our own money, to create our own wealth, to mm -hmm. have generational wealth, which is extremely important, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when you come from poverty, I know I do, mm -hmm. you do not want to that to continue on to your children. I want to show my, my sons and daughters that I'm a boss, that their mm -hmm. mom never worked for anybody, that their mom came up from the bottom, mm -hmm. came up from the dirt, and, and worked. I worked my ass yes. off, and they can look up to me and be inspired by me, and, and my nieces and nephews, look up on and my. The internet and exactly, TV or, you know and what look I mean? Pave the way for them, yeah. you know? Because it took me so much time. I want to cut that time in half for my children, yeah. for my the children in my family that. I have in my family now, my nieces and nephews or my little cousins, you know what I mean? I just want them to be able to be inspired and to aspire to want more for themselves because, you know, we all deserve that opportunity, whether we go to college or not. That's how I feel. So how do you guys feel about Uber and Lyft and things like that? Because there's people, I'm very much for it for people, but I know people that also say like, oh, 
you drive the Uber, you drive like that. That's your. I feel like that's your business. Yeah. Like that's your business. People Shit, I, doing I drive Lyft on the side. Like ain't nothing yeah. wrong with like. Nothing. If I want to pay for it, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, if I want to, if I'm like sitting out here on the if street, it's legit, come on, okay. Even if it's illegit, listen, I'm not gonna praise it. Make yeah. your money. I don't yeah. care. Just don't show me nothing about no drugs. Just show me nothing about this or that. Like, do your thing. It don't matter to me. I don't care what you do for stacks. I know your back glued to the wall. You got to hey. wall through that. Hey. <laughs> it's true. You got to. Tanya Lake said, I have tried cooking and selling food at my apartment, and it was difficult. It is. I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. that, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. you continue in the box. But, I mean, if it's something that you love, kitchen. you know, you... You're going to do it because yeah. of the love of it. Yeah. So, guys, um, if you guys have any business ventures or business or brands or Instagram or social media, here's your chance to plug it in so everybody on here can support it. Well, I, I do. am. I, I do have on. a business venture coming out. I don't want to yet say it because I haven't trademarked it or anything, and I want to do that before I put it out because, you know, I don't want nobody to steal it because I think it's going to be something personal. So um, I do have it. Like I said, I'm not on social media right now, but you guys can definitely reach me when I get yeah, back. Yeah, somebody asked about training, through. if you could train them. Oh, yeah, I, I actually do train. You're Hi, based I, in? I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so, yeah, I'm there. You can hit me up. Wait, I will. you're a personal trainer? I am. So you think my ass batter? Huh? Yeah, I mean, but you. Oh, tell me some workouts. Okay. All right, and go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so, but um, so yeah, so when I do come back on social media, you can reach me at uh the golden one twenty four. But if you also, I, you can have my email if you want to reach out to me. Um, Corey Holland zero at gmail dot com. I also have an e commerce website. It's called Buy It Sis. It's clearly for yeah, women. Yeah, Buy It Sis. <laughs> it's called Buy It Sis. We. I have a business partner and we are selling, you know, everything that we feel like women need. And um, yeah, it's buyitsis.com. Buy it sis. Dot com. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I'm a business. Let's just let's okay. just start there. Okay. And I am now currently booking if you want to okay. book me for acting, modeling, hosting. Gig. Okay. I'm all here for it. Um, other than that. I am also writing a lot of different shows, and I'm open to writing different blogs and so on and so forth. Um, and I'm also working on a lot of different things that I can't tell you about, like he just did. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to see me in a different light, and you will see all of that also, on that platform. If you guys haven't subscribed to BRTBTV, you will see us. Um, on, on the screen, triangle. on yeah. triangle, um, dark horse. You can check out dark horse. You can check out um, secret storm. Okay, secret storm. Man. You can check out everything. Da uh, Davenport Diaries, all of that. So make sure you guys tune in, and we love you guys. Oh yeah, and I'm the hair plug too. So if you guys, anybody needs to know where to get the bundles from, just come to okay, me. Okay, period. Yeah.